Welcome to part two of my one year weight loss transformation vlog. I'm just gonna go over what I eat and also just what workouts I do or may I say what lifts I do that just that, that just really has helped me throughout my whole journey. Now, I'm not giving out a diet plan. I'm just gonna go over real quick of just what I eat and what just what I do in the kitchen. Um, one, I don't track macros. My whole thing was counting calories. When I first started off, I had cut my calories to 1,400 cows and I was eating 3,000 plus cows a day. I wouldn't doubt if I was at four. But to do that, I went the wrong way. Like I thought I was making progress and yeah, I dropped like 35 pounds within the first three weeks. But I was feeling weak, tired, and I kind of just threw in the towel and just ate for like three days straight and put damn near half that weight back on. Now, when you're gonna do that, make sure you're cutting your cow slowly, slowly, slowly just come down from that big number you once were. Uh, I know it can be complicated, but the way I went about looking for what to eat, I knew one thing for sure, I knew one thing had to happen. I had to stop all the fast food. I had to stop the soft drinks. I had to stop the beer. Maybe not the beer so much, but I do drink once in a great while. I love to enjoy life. Besides with my family, that is. Oh, but I actually Googled just the cows on celery, spinach, all that stuff. Um, do I measure stuff? No. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I guesstimate when it comes to the whole veggie thing. I just know by you know eating that, it, it, it'll do me a lot better than me chugging down two liters of cola or Sprite. But I would pre-bag it. You know, I, I don't like eating veggies. Yes, I, I'm being honest. But what helped me was I would pre-bag it. I'd take a handful of spinach, throw it in a bag, celery, carrots, uh, kale. And I was doing a lot of fruit, but I had to be careful with the sugar. Even though it's a good sugar, I didn't want to add on you know, more weight than what I already had, which was on top of that 363. But I would you know, throw a half a banana and just give it a little taste into my Vitamix and get it, oh, at the time it wasn't a Vitamix, I had a Nutribullet, now I have a Vitamix, and those things work wonders. But I, I would, you know, each meal I would have, I would have two of those, that would be lunch and dinner. Now for breakfast, I'll, I'll get into the meats and all, but for breakfast, for me, it was just six egg whites and uh, turkey bacon. Sometimes it, I eat chicken breast too, but it, it depends. Now when it comes to meats, I, I do chicken breast, Steak, steak can be expensive, but I would go out and find, you know, the, the cheap stuff, you know, the ch uh, cheap thin slice stuff. For me, that just worked. Do I meal prep? No, if anything, I meal prep my veggie packs. Just because when I was eating out of the Tupperware, I just got tired of the rubbery, rubberiness. That sounds that's a funny word, rubbery, rubberiness. Nah, I mean, anyway. So I would cook on that day. And for me, it was easier because it was fresh. It wasn't all rubber. <laughs> now, I know this might sound crazy, like, because I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm like really ant just to be back making these vids. Now, I would eat, do I have a cheat day? Yes, I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that. Sundays are my cheat days. It's kind of like a, a refeed. And, do I go all out? No. If anything, I'll have lunch and dinner as two cheat meals, but I wouldn't go overboard. I'd wash those cows. Sometimes I can get away with it if it's really, you know, if it's really low on cows with, with a good amount. But the majority of the time, I just want to just satisfy my cravings. That's it. And usually it's burritos. I love burritos. And no, not Chipotle, like actual Mexican burritos. Even though burritos aren't from Mexico. But you get what I'm saying. Now, when it comes to the workouts, in fact, let me go back to the diet. I, um, if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Now, with the diet, you have to understand the more you work out, the more you push yourself each day, as the weeks and months go on, you're gonna start realizing you're gonna be eating more than usual. Like, as of now, my calories are probably at 29, and I, I shit you not, my calories are at 2,900. And depending on if it's a light day, then I'll go probably down to 21 to 19, somewhere in between that. Like I said, a lot of guesstimation, but for that, that's what I've been doing and that's what works for me. You guys asked what my diet was, well, I'm just letting you guys know what I do in the kitchen. 
you know, but just make sure you're not starving yourself. That's the biggest mistake everyone makes and then they, they give up. You know, it, it's a slow approach, take your time. You know, be easy on yourself at first. And you know what, if you mess up, oh well, tomorrow's a new day. You know, move on, keep it going. Now as for the workouts, I went toward, um, I went towards a powerlifting approach and that's, uh, I ended up doing the three main lifts, which is bench, squat, and deadlifts. For me, deadlifts and squats, they're full compound body movements. I think that's what you call them. If not, correct me for all you fitness gurus out there down below. Those, because I'm putting so much effort into squat and deadlifts, it's insane. And I've made the most gains, or in my case, the most le weight loss on top of that. Do I do cardio? Yes, I, I do do cardio. Do do. I do do cardio. But when I first started off, I was doing an hour a day in the morning. And what I would do is I would just walk for 60 minutes, you know, at, at a nice, smooth pace. And I did that for, I believe, 45 days straight. And for me, that helped. That helped me just kind of build that habit. That, that's what it's all about in the beginning of the journey is build those habits. Don't worry about the results right off the bat. Just build those healthy habits. And at night, I would do my lifting. The lifts I would do was OHP overhead press and bench, squat, deadlift. I think that's all. If not, yeah, anyway. And for me, I would only work out three times a week because that's all I could handle. I remember my first leg day, holy shit. <laughs> I was out, I couldn't walk for like three, four days. Them doms though. <laughs> you know what doms are? And you're first starting off, just hit some squats and comment down below. Now, I would work out three times a day. I would say, you know, Mondays would be bench, of course, bench and OHP. Wednesdays would be deadlift and then Friday would be squats and I, I went the five by five approach that's five sets of five reps and each week I would add on five pounds but surprisingly I started realizing that I'm actually naturally strong and I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I remember I started off just on bench repping 225 as of right now I'm rebuilding everything just because I dropped 125 pounds and I'm on the rebound but again I don't never stress about it because you know, I can always get my strength back. Uh, another thing, you know, if you're insecure about going to the gym, don't be. Nobody's paying attention to you. You know, you might have people look at you, but if anything, they're admiring that you're, you know, in there trying to make the change. You know, I believe that fitness itself, you know, we're all here to just kind of motivate, you know, encourage, inspire one another. So never just feel insecure, you know, F the insecurities. And do you, because you're in there, you know, you're in the gym to make the big difference. You're, you're in there to make the change, you know, to better you, to just reach those goals. And like I said before, do not try to worry about the results, you know, right off the bat. Just worry about building the foundation and just continuing just those habits, you know, building them, you know, day in and day out. That's what it's going to take to reach those goals. And for me, um, I'm glad, I'm glad I kept it as easy as possible. You just have to find what works for you. And, you know, just believe in yourself, you know, don't try to have other people believe in you because at the end of the day, it's you that has to walk through those shoes. Never forget that. And I truly do appreciate just all the love and support. Um, the next video coming out will be after I come back from SD. I'm thinking about doing a video on my SD trip, just a quick vlog. But I got really cool content coming up. I have a good friend, Charlie, who I will be starting a series on my channel. He's at 300 pounds right now. Well, he just got under 300 recently. He started at 373 pounds. I'm telling you, be on the lookout just on this. And for me to put him on there, I just kind of want to give people an idea of just because I kind of took a break and that's where I messed up. I, I took that break. So I have that gap and it's kind of like he's coming in to fill that gap in. That way I'm able to work with them and other people can see that anything is possible. And just be on the lookout. Charlie, <laughs> you already know, bro. Um, other than that, guys, again, thank you all for the love, the support. Till next time. Later.